is your plan? Not bad. Not bad, eh? Not bad. It's fucking awful, that stuff. Fucking brown stuff is sorry, but it's for the workers. Yeah. White stuff, now that is for the bosses. You're all gypsies, right? So what do you live in? A fucking tent or a caravan? Mr. Sabini uses policemen all the time. That's why he's winning the war in London. And you are losing it. War oh, ain't over till it's over, mate. I came here to discuss business <clears throat> with you, Mr. Solomons. Well, Mama's for fun and fucking in it, so. Whiskey. Now that, that is for business. No. Body halls. Body halls. Right, profession. Baker. Man, fill it out. Fuck off. You in the wall. I once carried out my own personal form of stigmata on an Italian. I pushed his face up against the trench and shoved a six-inch nail up his fucking nose and I hammered it home with a duckboard. It was fucking biblical, mate. So don't come in here and sit there in my chair and tell me that I'm losing my war to a fucking wop. Very simple. You want to sell me something. What? We joined forces. Fuck off. No. Categorical. Fucking ridiculous. Did you know they were going to do it before they did it? Because that's the one who's in charge, isn't it? The one who knows before it happens. I know what I know. You know. If you don't know, then uh, you don't fucking know, do you? Intelligence. Intelligence is a very valuable thing, isn't it, my friend? And usually it comes far too fucking late. Hey, Billy Kitchen. Billy Kitchen. Occupation. Head baker. Put it out. Tommy Shelby, mate. He's... Never give power to the big man, would I tell you? Hmm? Never give power to the big man. Ah! He'll wake up. Granted, he won't have any teeth left, but he will be a wiser man for it. And the last thing he will remember is your funny little joke. I mean, and also write down that all our bookies can go back to Epson. He didn't say that. He was asking you. There were fucking rules here. Yeah. There are fucking rules for a fucking reason. Why, well, simply, they have to be obeyed. All right. The Piggy Blinders is out of control. Yeah, they're out of fucking control, mate. They come down the canal, they spread like the fucking clap. Rule number one. The distinction between bread and rum yeah, is not discussed. You know what we call them? What you call them? Toby Shelby. Rule number two. Anything, right, that your superior officer says to you, or any of your other fucking superior officers say to you, yeah? Not discussed! Alfie, it's Tommy fucking Shelby. <laughs> behaving like a fucking child. This is a man's world. Now take your apron off and sit in the corner like a little boy. Fuck off. Now, rule number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, care okay, for the rest of your fucking miserable, measly lives, yeah? Because I, like you, am also a complete fucking sodomite. Jewish women, you do not go anywhere near them because Jewish women for you are off the fucking menu. Nice little place you got here, Thomas. Who is it? El foreclosure of a gambling debt from some poor young lord who you pumped full of opium in one of your casinos. Was that just tittle tattle? Oh, for shalom. Alfie. Shalom. Word in London is that you can be found wandering the streets of Birmingham, stark naked, throwing away money. You talk to dead people. I hear that you have allowed Jesus to come into your life. Yeah. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. That's lovely, isn't it? That's, that's lovely. And I was wondering, how does that work for you on a day-to-day, -day, considering your line of work, mate? You're fucking about the rushes, isn't you, silly boy? You see, all I'm saying is that every man, he craves certainty, doesn't he? He craves his certainty. 
Even if that certainty of yours, right? Well, I mean, it's fucking fanciful, mate, isn't it? I'm old testament. Fucking hell, look at that. Now that. That scares me more. Yeah. Congratulations, Tommy. You now have the finished article right there, didn't you? See, that man, right, he will murder and maim for you with God on his side. And then may I just start, right, by saying that I might choose to stay here and just starve to death and choke on sapphires so I don't ever go back to the fucking world again. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Shelby. It's lovely doing business with you. You read your back the room. Yeah, well, there is a good reason for that, you know, little man. Because my shop, right, is just above a rum house, so... You all speak it I do, yeah, I do. This is my mum. Yeah, my mother. You people, right, you hunted my mum with dogs through the snow. But today, right, it's for forgiveness, isn't it? For selection. Left the name off the list, Alfie. Did I? Yeah. It's a nice little bit of it going on there, isn't it? Oh, but uh, that was a gift of uh, Tsar Nikolai. I ain't asking you, though, am I, right? I ain't asking you. All right, I come here to do business for my professional services. If you keep interrupting me, I won't be able to focus too much of you, understand? <laughs> now, all the bad ideas around here, they're you, right? They are you, aren't they? Hmm? Somebody comes into my shop with some pace like this, Usually, what I make him do, right, is fucking swallow it. Hey, what game are you playing? 